Hello everyone. In this question, we're going to discuss uh, about trigonometry stuff. And f of x is cos x minus k. Uh, the condition is 0 less than or equal x less than or equal a. a and k both belongs to r plus positive real numbers. And it was asked that, so three subdivisions we have. First, we need to consider the case when a is equal to, uh, when k is equal to pi by 2. Either by sketching a suitable graph, otherwise, anyway, we need to, or algebraically, they mean, we need to find the largest value of A for which the inverse function F inverse exists. So if cos X means cos inverse will exist. Actually, there is a problem in inverse, right? So complete domain we can't take. We will restrict the domain while you are finding cos inverse and sin inverse. So that's the only condition for what value of the A and the largest value of A f inverse exist and the case is pi by 2 and some more cases are there. It's quite simple. So what is the basic definition of f inverse? f inverse exists for any function f inverse exists if it is 1 to 1. Right? So we want to check whether it's 1 to 1 or so this is the cos function basically. It's not 1 to 1. I will try to draw a horizontal line. It will cut two points. Right? It's not 1 to 1. So we will restrict the domain. Right. Um, so the restricted domain for inverse function, if we have that in mind, it, it's quite simple. Right. When k is pi by 2, f of x will become cos x minus pi by 2. Correct. And cos uh, x minus pi by 2 is going to be sin x. So you can convert. Like this is the way you will do cos. You can take a minus out and it's pi by 2 minus x. And it is cos of negative and the theta means it's cos that pi by 2 minus x. And this is a basic stuff. Cos pi by 2 minus x is sin x. Right? So this function when at the cos x minus k, uh, at the case of k is pi by 2, it acts as sin x. So f of x is equal to sin x if you solve it's simple. Um, for f of x is equal to sin x, f inverse exists but we need to restrict the domain in the interval minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2. That is the principal stuff, right? So in this range, but here it's strictly said 0 less than or equal x less than or equal a. So avoid the negative values, 0 less than or equal x less than or equal. So the largest is pi by 2 and our a is pi by 2. This is like using the uh, inverse thing Inverse, uh, inverse function definition and some the like complementary angle stuff we can solve. So how to solve this using the graphical part, right? After get, uh, getting f of x is equal to sine x or you can use the translation also. Uh, I have to deal with f of x is equal to sine x. It will start from zero, it will increase, then it will down, getting down until two pi. But for this entire function, uh, the thing that is inverse will not exist, right? So I have to restrict from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 because that's the principal range, we you know, right? And since it's work only on the positive, so the maximum, the largest possible value of A is going to be, it's pi by 2. So only this is the restricted domain and we won't consider this. In that way also, you can draw the graph and show that A is the largest possible value of A is pi by 2. Hope it might be clear. And next thing, find the largest value of A, the same function f of x is given, cos x minus k, same thing, everything, 0 is not equal, x is not equal, A and A and k are pure positive real numbers. Uh, when the case, where when we have k is equal to pi, let's substitute, f of x is going to be cos x minus pi, Okay, usually we have solved like cos pi minus x in that way, right? Let me simplify. Uh, take a negative common and you will get this pi minus x, right? Cos of negative theta. So this act as cos of negative theta. It's positive cos theta by ASTC rule. Negative theta is here. It's ASTC at C. 
So, so like C means cos and it's reciprocal or positive there. So it will be cos pi minus 6. Right? And what is cos pi minus 6? This is x. This is pi minus 6. This is pi plus 6. Again, ASTC. Then this is minus x or 2 pi minus 6. Right? This is a general thing. And pi minus x is here, it's ASTC, which is S is sine, sine and it's uh, reciprocal or sine and uh, cosecant or positive. Others will be negative. So cos will be negative. And since it's a pi, like it's a multiple of 180, we will give negative. Uh, that is the same function will carry over. So cos and a negative and x. So f of x is negative cos x. That is a reflected version of the original cos function. Okay, coming to this point, um, so this is one to one. So F inverse exists in this case, yeah. For the interval, zero comma pi, close to three, right? So when X is from zero to pi, this is the condition in inequality form and they have given what is the largest possible, the largest possible value is pi. So A equals pi for this particular case. Okay, I hope this might be clear. And next part. Okay, this is quite different. Same, find the largest possible value of A and all the functions are same. Cos x minus k um, and that same condition will follow. 0 less than or equal less than or equal A. And one more thing, k particularly lie between, it's not just k equals, k particularly lie between pi to um, 2 pi. Okay. So I am not sure like uh, x minus pi we are not going to do. We already did that case. After pi and between 2 pi. Right. Uh, let me draw the basic structure of this graph. Basic cos graph. Right. It will start from 0 and go like this. This is pi, this is 2 pi, this is 0. And our k is going to be rho, in, uh, that is uh, around, uh, go around in between pi and 2 pi. Uh, we want uh, the x uh, the x interval for which the f inverse exists. f inverse exists when it is 1 to 1, right? So from the graphical part, like I need to cut either this part or this part. Correct? So... It's negative is not allowed. That's why we are not getting into the negative part. And I took the first principal branch, 0 to 2 pi. Um, so should I cut out this or this? Right? Um, and k is particularly positive number. Right? I can't go. Uh, so you can here you can see it's decreasing. The cos x. Here it is increasing. So cos x minus... Um, I want the maximum, right? So what could be the uh, biggest A value that is acceptable for K? That is the question. So K is between pi to 2 pi. And what particular K value I have to choose? In this particular question, also they have mentioned, give your answer in terms of K. What is the largest value of A in terms of K? So basically, so k value ranges from here to here, right? To this, to this. Okay, should it be greater than k or equal k or it's less than k? In that way, we can give the answer. Um, now, so this is decreasing and I want to be the, I want to get the largest value. So we will focus on the increasing part and that is going to be your, the largest possible value of a it's not about that is in between the uh, largest possible value of a is k minus pi. To the left of k is what we will use for a. So this will give me uh, an inverse function will also exist. Also the function will be one to one. And the k value also will lie in between pi to 2 pi. Okay. If in case, if you chase, if you choose a value, okay, what if it's after k, like 3 pi by 2 if I choose, right? 
it's not a minimum, but it's a median value, right? So what if my k is 3 pi by 2? Yeah, it holds in this interval. k a equal to 3 pi by 2 minus pi, which is going to be pi by 2. And let me substitute that particular uh, value over there, it's like cos pi by 2 minus k. And so my k is somewhere between pi and this stuff. So this will not fetch as the largest possible. But in case if you choose the, like uh, this is pi by two, if you choose, that will fetch as the, um, that will satisfy the result of k and also the a part. That's why it's a, uh, which is equal k minus pi, not more than uh, k, that is after pi. Right, and this is the last part. And that's it. Thank you so much for listening.